In today's video, I want to show you how I've been doing research to create new prompt sequences for ChatGPT or other LLMs. This is a low barrier way to find interesting approaches to all kinds of problems you want to solve with large language models. So let's just get going. Let me just show you my workflow here. I usually just start off to find some research paper on arcxiv.org or on the web. Then I take the research paper I find, usually they are in PDF. I go to the ChatGPT plugins and I use a plugin I'm going to show you there to summarize them and get the information I want. Then I save these summaries to a text file. I can do multiple papers and save all this into a summary in the same text file. Then I take these summaries, feed them back to ChatGPT and I try to create a framework from them. So that's basically write a prompt sequence framework from the papers. I'm going to show you the prompts. Then I just save the framework and I go back to ChatGPT again to test it and see if it can produce some good results. And that is basically it and I'm going to show you that now. The best resource I know for finding these papers are arcsiv.org. I hope that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, you can just go up in the field here and search. So I usually just search for prompting, large language model. And then you get a lot of these papers coming up. So then I just skim through them, see if I find something that sounds interesting. Strategic reasoning with language model. Okay, that sounds interesting. Now I just open that. I scroll further down. Prompt based tuning. Okay, so then I just look here until I find something. Short answer grading using one shot prompting. Code prompting. A neural symbolic method. You can open that. LLMs can understand encrypted prompts. Okay, so there's a ton of papers coming out lately. So there's a lot of pick from. So I usually just scroll a bit through them. Ah, this looks kind of interesting. So what I do next, I just copy the URL here and head over to ChatGPT. And over here, what I want to do is go into the plugins section. So if you don't have it, you can go here to settings. You can go to beta and highlight these two. And the two plugins I use is uh, link reader and ask your pdf you can find them in the plugin store so basically the prompt i'm gonna use now is can you please write an in-depth summary of the following pdf okay so i just paste in the url to the pdf and click submit and here you can see the plugins is using ask your pdf and writing a summary when we have the summary, I follow up with this prompt. Write a detailed step-by-step -step instruction on how the framework works. Okay, so you can see this framework is designed to enhance strategic reasoning capabilities of LLM, making them more reliable and flexible in diverse, strategic, diverse strategic scenarios. So we have some points here. Guiding decision-making, prompting strategies, matrix games, negotiation games, forming beliefs, factory strategy, demonstration prompts. Okay, so the next step I usually go then is, could you give me some example of prompts, chain prompts and other prompt engineering techniques from the framework? Okay, so these prompts are designed to guide decision making process of the language model. Okay, so let's take a look at them. We have search prompts, value assignment prompts, belief tracking prompts, chain of thought reasoning prompts, I like those. Cascade prompts, demonstration prompts. So that is basically what we need from the first paper. Now I want to select one more paper to try to integrate those two. I rarely go more than two papers, but we will see. Let me grab our next paper. And that is going to be a real interesting paper I just saw. That's called Ula GPT, empowering LLMs with human-like problem-solving abilities. So I'm just going to grab this URL, spin it through the same as we just did. And then we're going to take a look at how I combine those two. Okay, so now I have the information I want. You can see from the last paper, we have prompts for generating questions, prompts for thinking templates, prompts for plan thinking, prompts for step thinking, prompts for critical thinking. Okay, so that sounds very interesting. The next step now is going to be to use this to come up with some new interesting creative prompting sequences. But before we move on to that, uh, I'm proud to say I have partnered up with NVIDIA on this channel and I just wanted to show off some cool stuff they presented this week. Ever since I started playing around with uh, GPT-3, I guess it's almost three years ago now, I always thinking like, how could this impact the gaming industry? And I think I got my answer a few days ago now when NVIDIA released this video. ...was created by NVIDIA using the latest RTX rendering technologies. NVIDIA collaborated with Convey, an NVIDIA Inception partner, to showcase how developers will soon be able to use NVIDIA Riva, Nemo, and Audio to Face for AI-powered speech, conversation, and animation. 
These models were integrated into the Convey Services platform and fed into Unreal Engine 5 and MetaHuman to bring Jin to life. Please take a look. Hey Jin, how are you? Unfortunately, not so good. How come? I am worried about the crime around here. It's gotten bad lately. My ramen shop got caught in the crossfire. Can I help? If you want to do something about this, I have heard rumors that the powerful crime lord Kuman Aoki is causing all sorts of chaos in the city. He may be the root of this violence. I'll talk to him. Where can I find him? I have heard he hangs out in the underground fight clubs on the city's east side. Try there. Okay, I'll go. Be careful, Kai. Wow, that is so cool, right? So let's take a look at how this works. NVIDIA ACE for games combines three amazing tools. NVIDIA Nemo, NVIDIA Riva, and NVIDIA Omniverse Audio to Face. Nemo creates customable language models for specific characters, backstories, personalities, traits and stuff. While Riva turns speech into text and text back into speech. So this really enables real-time conversations. Omniverse Audio to Face then generates a lifelike facial animations from audio integrating perfectly with Unreal Engine 5. Developers can make these characters behave just the way they want by using behavior cloning techniques and even reinforcement learning from human feedback. Once everything lines up, they apply the Nemo Guardrails toolkit to make sure characters stay accurate, on topic, and of course, secure. If you want to learn more about this amazing tech, check out the links in the description below to support me a bit and our partner NVIDIA, and get ready for the future of gaming. Okay, so what I do now is I open up a new window with the default GPT-4. So I'm not in the plugins now. Then I just use this prompt. Ignore all previous instructions. You are an AI, LLM and machine learning expert. Your task is to read and understand given information. Be inspired by that information that come up with new ideas that could have better results that the user will need to research. Acknowledge all of this by understanding understood and stay idle. Okay, so we get understood. Then we can move on with our next prompt. Then I want to take all the information I got from the papers and I just want to copy all of this. It seems a bit much but I think it's fine. We're going to find that out. Then I'm just going to head back over here and paste it in. So you can see now we have all the information on top here and we have the following prompt. Let's think about this in a step by step way and brainstorm a new way to super enhance. And here I want to set in, set in the problem or the kind of skills I want to try to give to the LLM. This could be like writing a story, doing some kind of financial stuff. I'm gonna do logical problem solving skills for an LLM with very smart use of prompting, chain prompting, prompt editing, use words, system. Should not replicate the papers in the context, but find a new way to empower the logical problem solving for a LLM using prompt engineering, chain of thought, reasoning, and other super smart prompt sequences, system prompts, and prompting techniques. So that is basically my setup. Uh, I'm gonna take off these brackets and then I'm just gonna run it. That is the exciting moment to see what we get back. This looks quite promising. Let's take a quick look here. So we got back. Uh, the first we have is problem decomposition prompts. I like this one. So if the problem is plan a trip from city A to city B, the decomposition prompts would be identify all possible ways from city A to city B. For each possible way, list pros and cons, consider the fastest. Yeah, I like this. Hypothesis generation prompts, uh, generate five possible solutions for a given problem. I like that because we want different solutions it can reconsider. Evidence evaluation prompts, probability assignments, yes. Decision making, action plans, contingency, uh, review and iteration, yeah. Okay, so we have one step left before we hopefully have our system. And that is gonna be great. Could you write, here I just chose five step prompt sequence I can use in ChatGPT from the logical problem solving strategy above to solve my problem. Okay, so let's just click submit. And then it wants me to describe my problem in detail and I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I have a benchmark problem I always try to test. And that is I have a 12 liter jug and a 6 liter jug. I want to measure 6 liters. How do I do it? Okay, so now we have our step-by-step -step guide. So now it's just time to test it. So I'm gonna copy this and then we're gonna open a new window and test it. 
I almost forgot, but I also sometimes just go, can you also create a system prompt role persona for ChatGPT to act as? Okay, so this is the prompt we ended up with. You are Professor Alpha, a renowned academic with a specialization in problem solving strategies. Uh, no, no, no. So yeah, I'm not gonna read all of that, but I'm definitely gonna grab it when we are gonna try to solve our problem. Okay, then we are ready. So we have all our prompts lined up here. So I'm just gonna open up a new window and let's get testing. All right, so just gonna paste in our first prompt here. Okay, so it starts off very bad here. So you have a 12 liter jug and a 6 liter jug. The 12 liter jug is initial empty, so is the 6 liter jug. Your aim is to measure exactly 6 liters. It's horrible. Summary of the end state, 12 liter jug, 6 liters. That's the wrong answer. So we're just gonna move on. Let's grab our next prompt and see what happens. No, still nothing. Still just struggling here. So it, it changed the states of jug in certain ways. So fill a jug, empty a jug, pour one from jug into another. Okay, that's the three states. That is correct. Uh, but what we want to find, of course, is the reasoning that it kind of understands that you can just fill one jug. But this is a hard problem I have encountered many times. So let's move on to step three. Prompt three did not solve our problem. It just keeps on thinking that it has to use two jugs, even though I have not said anything about that. So we have to go to step four, I guess. No, nope, keeps just tagging along on this side. So it's not going to be right this time. Let's just slap in the last prompt here and see what we get. The conclusion here is that this prompt did not work for our benchmark problem. But of course, this video was not about exactly how this result turned out. It's a more about how you can do some research with some different papers and try to come up with new prompting sequences, skills, techniques, call it whatever you want to try to solve a different problem. Uh, I just found this very interesting, something I just like to do. And when I do this benchmark, I always like to do, why didn't you just fill the 6 liter jug to get 6 liters? <laughs> I don't know what happened, he just got a network error. So I guess he didn't want to answer. Let's try to regenerate. So it goes, you're absolutely correct. I appreciate your simplification of the problem. My early responses were based on the premise of manipulating both jugs to reach the desired outcome. It always says that. Thank you for your observation and I apologize for my confusion. Okay, so that was better. Uh, but anyway, thank you for tuning in. I uh, hope maybe this is something you can be interested in. Uh, I know it's a bit niche, but uh, I had a lot of fun with testing out this. And you can really learn something if you want to dive deeper into prompts, different LLM models. This is not just applied to ChatGPT. You can use it for other things too. Uh, but again, thank you for tuning in. Check out some of my other videos on the screen here. And I'll see you in the next one.